Hello, my baby. Hello. 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 Today's footage, I'm going to try to focus mostly on the hot mess kittens because I'm happy to announce, oh, I bet Barney is in the basket again. Barney has taken to sleeping in the baskets in the bathroom. Um, I'm pleased, but very sad. This one is going to be hard for me. Some of them, I mean, I, I get sad, but happy every time they leave me. But we all know this bunch. Oh, look, they're all four right here, too. Oh, this bunch just really has my heart. Um, but they are all going. We actually have three different homes that we're visiting tomorrow. And because none of them show a particular bond to each other, you know, sometimes kittens are really, really, really bonded into pairs and it's easy. But with this bunch, this bunch really, they aren't. You know, they kind of just play with everyone. They sleep forever. Um, they don't show a particular love. So we're going to do... Uh, the home visits and see how everybody goes. Now, two of the homes already have a cat apiece, so it may be, you know, I don't ever adopt them out singly uh, to just to where they're only cat, but I will adopt them out singly if there's another home, a cat in the home. So I don't actually know which of the four or if all four or just a couple, I'm not sure who will find their forever homes tomorrow. Um, but I know that some of them probably will. And it is a bittersweet moment. But this is the goal. And I will be very happy. And, uh, you know, and I will get updates and that kind of thing. But they're already, they're just so big. They're way past where I should have even started looking. But, you know, they're my babies. And, I don't know, I feel like I really did raise these um, kittens. You know, some of the kittens have moms that help raise them and some really kind of, you know, don't need them. Oh. What was that? Oh my goodness, Barney. Now, Barney, He's not technically a hot mess kitten, and he is not going. I don't feel he is ready yet. Even though one of the houses that I'm going into tomorrow, um, she's actually been here in the nursery and played with them all. Um, and she love, love, loves Rocky. <laughs> like, loves Rocky. Um, and Barney. Uh, but I am not comfortable yet with Barney going. Uh, one, because I want to have one more look at his eye um because the vet does say as he gets older because it is scar tissue i don't know if i ever explained he has his eyeball underneath this blue area it's perfectly fine but he has a layer of um like i i call, he, the vet said it was scar tissue i don't know if that's exactly what it is what that means but there's a whole circle of blue, as you can tell, you know, over his eye. So, um, and there's some, some of that can be um, removed at when he's older, maybe. Um, it's, you know, it's still too early to tell. Even though Barney weighs three pounds. Can you believe that? Barney weighs three pounds. And these biggins weigh four. Like, they've got to get spayed and neutered. Well, yeah, no, Jack's a girl. Everybody's always like, is Jack a girl or a boy? You call, and I'm like, no, Jack is a girl. So, um, oh, it just seems like time flew with these babies. Yeah, and let me tell you, I noticed over Christmas how big they had gotten, and oh, I had a moment. But, um, so actually, Barney may go, have a home um, if, 
that home turns out when I visit the actual home tomorrow, but he will not be leaving yet. Uh, hello, honey. I know. This is, look, there's the, look, it's the lysine paste. Jack missed some. Jack missed some. So he got on my whiskers, though. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a little stuck there? Don't figure out how to get down. But yeah, I mean, you can tell even from the videos how big they have gotten. But they're over four pounds. <sighs> and Barney's three pounds. I mean, I'm proud because that means. What are you doing? This one's been. Georgie's been on. And Georgie's the biggest one. You would think Rocky is because Rocky does look the biggest, but uh uh. Georgie's the biggest. Look at that. Look at that. It just looks like a tiger. Yeah, a tiger. But yep, my babies are all grown up. Aren't you? Yeah. And, um, you know, and the. There are a couple issues, you know, like he still, Oscar still has to have eye drops all the time. And like right now he needs his nose wiped, but <clears throat> they'll go with him, you know. I've talked to everyone about his issue, you know. And he should outgrow it, they say. I don't know. Hey, Barney, Barney, you're in the way. He'll still be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh Barney, y'all are getting so big. I can't believe Barney's three pounds. I mean, that killed me. I weighed him like three times because I just thought, there's just no way. Because I weighed these, the little ones every day because um, they are not gaining the weight like they should. No, you are not. No. I, um, I started them on an extra thing of NutriCal yesterday, so now they get the lysine twice a day and the NutriCal twice a day. Don't you? Because you're not gaining weight like you should. They're not, I mean, this, well, this little one hasn't gained anything in four days. I mean, she hadn't lost anything, but she hadn't gained anything either. And they eat. So I don't know. Delivery. It is mail time once again. Um, <laughs> and we ran into a little problem with this mail time because, God bless her, but my, uh, one of my volunteers came over. By the time you see this, you'll know that I have a mom and her three babies in with the former spa kittens. And they are mm, semi-feral. I would say semi-feral. And she came over to help me uh, give them their dewormer and to check them over. You know, we like to check their ears, their teeth, that kind of thing. Well, while I was back there trying to clean up, she thought she was going to be helpful and start putting stuff in the pantry because I have my pantry organized like a certain way. And you can tell. And she, well, I hadn't filmed the mail time yet. And I came in and I was like, no, no, don't. Um, so I think, because I had all most of the little slips of paper, I think that I have uh, been able to sort out everything. Uh, if I'm missing a couple of your things, well, it would really just probably be food if I'm missing anything. Um, I, I'm sorry, but know that it was appreciated, it was eaten, and it helped keep the kittens fat and happy. And Debbie Learman sent us some stuff and it says, Hi community, here is something to keep you all cleaned up, not washed up. <laughs> um, that was really funny. And I actually thought I lost this slip and I thought it was funny. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can't remember exactly what Debbie's slip says, but I remember thinking it was funny. But I found it. And Debbie sent over a bag of the Arm & Hammer 2-in-1 Power Packs which is what I use in my laundry. Fragrance isn't horribly strong. Uh, they seem to get everything clean. I don't know if it's because of the baking soda or what, um, but I really like these. And then she sent over a case of the Clorox disinfecting wipes, 
which I have explained several times why I like the Clorox better than any of the ones I've tried before. Um, but I do. These are my favorite uh, sanitizing wipes. Thank you, Debbie, very much. Uh, it is very important to keep cleaned up when you have a house full of kittens. Several of the Fancy Feast um, didn't come with tags, didn't come with little slips. Uh, so, and I think this is the group right here. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not 100% positive. I read the slips where I could. I do know that we had a couple cases delivered without slips. And I also know that a couple of the cases are from Jan Somerville. Uh, she sends uh, food and KMR on a regular basis because she's an angel. <clears throat> She also sent me a Christmas present of this very pretty blue and white plaid uh, button-up. It is really soft. Uh, I actually have washed it. I haven't worn it yet, but when it came, it was like in a plastic, you know how, the, you know, clothes come in plastic, but the envelope it was in, it was in like one of those kind of brown envelopes. It was like really wadded up, and so it was very wrinkled, and I wanted to wash it. Um, to show, I thought it would show better, uh, but it's very soft. So thank you, Jan, very much for thinking of me and for helping feed the sweet babies. Next gifts are from Mike. It says, in memory of Zelda from Mike Hamilton. Thank you, Mike, very much for thinking of Zelda with your gift. She was a very, very special kitten. And I think about her all the time and still miss her. Mike sent over a case of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Grilled. And he sent a case of the Kitten Chicken Formula. And as we all know, they go fast in this house. You can tell I have already opened it. So thank you, Mike, very, very much. And then these items were sent by Kitten. Um, in the last mail time, uh, there were uh, items sent by Kitten. And I think these just came later. And I did say at the time I would film and then attach it. But I forgot. And so I'm filming it now. Um, but <laughs> I know and I really think there was more food. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know for sure. But it was Fancy Feast. So, she sent some Fancy Feast food. And then a giant bag of uh, sparkle balls. And they're open because I let the nursery kittens out yesterday uh, to run around. And they were digging through the boxes. And <laughs> they were really funny. Um, I did not film it. Uh, but they were really, really funny. And so, I opened it and gave them some. But this is really cool. This is a box of the little mice that I love. Oh, hold on. Uh, the little mice that I love. And they're the ones that rattle. I love these furry mice that rattle because all the kittens love the furry mice that rattle. I love this because look, it's a box and then it's like a little dispenser. I don't know why I, I, I'm weird, but I just thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Um, so, thank you very much. Uh, wonderful toys. And thank you for helping feed the babies. Here is another item uh, that probably was ordered at the same time um, as the dry board for, from the last mail time. But I did not get it at the same time. And uh, so I'm just gonna put it in this one. Sorry, Glow. I just I don't have the. I am not organized enough to actually go back and find the footage and put them together. <laughs> so sorry. Um, but this is hi Stephanie. Here's a scooper for the poopers. Um, and then it's from Glow. So excited for this. Um. It's metal. The ones I use right now are plastic. You know, they're just the little cheap Walmart plastic ones. And uh, I've broken two now, but they're like a year old. So they lasted pretty well. 
I wanted to try out the metal ones because the plastic ones, you just, they're really difficult to use, it, especially when there's nine kittens using the litter boxes. <laughs> so I'm very excited um, to try it. So thank you very much, Glow. Next, we have some food from Linda and her gang, and it says, Happy New Year, Stephanie and Community Cats. I know the kittens will enjoy the food. Please give Prim, Barney, and the others some ear scritchies and pets for us. We enjoy the videos a lot. From Linda, Tugger, Dax, and Cisco. And Linda has a channel which features Tugger, Dax, and Cisco. And oh, they are so cute. I will put a link in my description, but they are also featured in my favorites cat channel, the front page of my channel, but you really should check them out. They are beautiful, beautiful cats. And I think, Linda, don't be mad because yours was one that got put up. And, um, but I'm almost positive that these are what you sent. But if not, just know she sent food. She sent the chicken feast, fancy feast case, and a case of their favorites, which is the chicken and cheddar. They love the chicken and cheddar. They love the turkey and cheddar. Um, so thank you, Linda, very, very much. And give those babies kisses for me. And the next set of gifts is from Julia Harris. Now, Julia's might be one of the ones that are more messed up than usual because hers came in uh, over time. But Julia sent over several cases of the Fancy Feast Kitten Pate Formula. It has a seafood variety and a chicken variety in it. She sent over some turkey some of the kitten turkey formula which was wonderful because i was out of the turkey i had chicken but i was out of the turkey as you can see there are a couple cans left in there but i was very excited about that she sent over some chicken and gravy some seafood grilled a case of the friskies pate which i love 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 then she sent the other pooper scooper that i wanted Oh my gosh, it's huge, but I'm really excited because the two litter boxes in the nursery are huge. Um, so, and it's metal too. So I'm really, really happy that I now have two metal pooper scoopers because I have in this house, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are nine litter boxes in this house between the kittens, and my cat. <laughs> but Julia also sent over, and you'll have seen it already, uh, the three tunnel, the little tunnel in the nursery that has the three tubes leading out of it. When the kittens came out yesterday and were in the boxes, they found it, and I was trying to distract them, so I opened it and set it aside, but they loved it so much that I went ahead and put it in the nursery, and I meant to get it back out, but I didn't. But that is from Julia as well. And then she also sent over a, um, a bag of the fuzzy glitter balls um, that they love, and I put that in the nursery as well, in the shelves of the nursery. I have some of their toys in there. Because uh, I forgot. I mean, I should have brought those back out too. I'm sorry, Julia. But, love it. Thank you so much for feeding the babies and for sending them toys. Oh, no. And then she also sent a case of the LED light bulbs that I have started to use. They are the reason that you can see the kittens so much better in the nursery than you can anywhere else in the house. And I did get a comment about the babies when they were in the playpen. A couple of people were like, oh, I love the new playpen. You can see in there so much better. It's not a new playpen. That's the same playpen. The light is different. Um, I am now switching over to all 5,000 Kelvin, or it'll say 5,000 K on the light bulbs. And what that is, is that's just really, really white light. Uh, I think technically it's called blue, 
light. I'm not sure. Uh, but when you film, if you film or you take pictures or, or whatever, that light is like the brightest light. And you can see so much better like colors uh, with that light. So I'm in the process of switching out all the rooms that I film in uh, to these light bulbs. Uh, so I'm really happy that Julia sent me some because that is six more lamps that I can change out. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Look, say we clean the nursery. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's under there. What could be possibly under there? Am I missing one? Oh, no. Oh my goodness. So, you know, I let the kittens out um, once a day to like roam the house. Uh, and. Ringo discovered this basket. This is actually Genji's basket. Don't tell Genji. Um, but Ringo discovered this basket and loves it so much so I brought it in here. But I lose him because right now all the lights are on. So you can see him. But if not all the lights are on, it's dark in there and he blends in so well. Yeah, he does. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And yesterday... We had home visits, and I am happy to announce that Jack and Rocky found their forever home together. Um, I already have pictures. <laughs> it's really funny. I do. I have pictures already, which um, I will either put here, or I'm actually starting to, if I've done it already, this is what I want to do. I want to use the community tab on the YouTube page to post all the update pictures. I have a bunch. And so if they're not in this video, check the community tab uh, and they might be there. But today in just about 30 minutes, we have a family coming to visit the nursery um, for Oscar and Georgie. Oscar and Georgie's home visit yesterday um, didn't really work out very well. Um, and that happens. Um, it's better to know than, you know, to visit and then, um, you know, no. Uh, but I did not feel these people's house was appropriate for them. But the people that are coming to visit, I have actually uh, been to their house before because they looked at, um, well, a couple others, um, but they were one of the houses I looked at for Fluffball Jenga and they did not feel, um, we don't think Fluffball Jenga will have any future problems. Uh, but, you know, she had the tail and the leg issues, the back leg issues. Not as bad as Prim, but uh, she did. And so they had decided to wait, which turned out well because I love football jingo. I like these people too, but I love where football jingo ended up. So, oh, yay, good. I put that there hoping it would stay a whole longer because they just sleep on top of it. It drives me nuts. So... We're just having a morning check-in. We're, we had our breakfast and then we went back to sleep. <laughs> yes, we did. Okay. And look, Oscar. Oh, you can't see Oscar's eyes. Come here. Sure, buddy. His eyes have gotten so much better. Well, now he, they're not because he's in the sun. But you can tell they don't have all the goop around them. Yes, and your eyes are getting better too. But a lot of that... If you can see it, it's just her fur growing in. Okay, there we gotta go.